If it's a fire or a burglary, why can't it wait until the morning? It is morning. Oh, come on, the stars are still shining. Well, that's their problem. Here you are. Here's a nice cup of tea. You know, this is what the Day of Judgment must be like. You're lying there, peacefully. Suddenly, the light goes on and a voice echoes across the universe. Here's a nice cup of tea. No, it's more important than that, love. It's the first day of Finn's first January sales. All oh, right, well, I'm going back to bed. Oh, no, I'm afraid not. I want to be there by 8.30, so you don't mind having been looking after the twins, do you? Boiled eggs will do. Will you take the tops off the shells for them? Because they make such a mess of it if they do it themselves. And, um, there's a few things I want from Maggie's. You don't mind dropping the list in, do you? Will you pop over and see that Uncle Albert's all right? Sales? Yes, that's right. Because I've got no appointments till late afternoon. Don't worry, I'm not going to spend much money. Just a few shirts for you and some vests for the kids. You know, Val, I'm not the least bit annoyed or angry. Aren't you, love? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. Because I know that this is just a dream. Not a very good one, but a dream. Must have been that chutney. Uh, yes, that's right. or something, you could cut the atmosphere in here. Could you? Oh, it's not good for your lungs, isn't all this? I'll go and open the back door and see if I can't blow a bit of it away. Oh, it's been frosty. Stars are still twinkling. Hey! Right. That's better. That's a little bit of fresh air in. By the looks of that, you've been up all night. I'm over 21. I know, look, but it isn't good for your lungs, dear. And think about the electricity bill. Oh, blimey, somebody trying to freeze us out. He's perishing in here. What's the matter, love? Nothing. Nothing? Look, if you won't tell us, how can we help you? Why, I could help me if I did. If I did tell you. Are you a few skids this morning? Oh, well, you'll know soon enough. Is it Les? I hope they fix them traffic lights up. Yes, Les. Thought so. It's finished. We're getting a divorce. Oh, lovely. That's a big word, Maggie. Divorce. Yeah, 22 years big. There have been some good times. Spent most of last night thinking of them. And Gordon. Shouldn't you think again, love? I mean, well, after all, you're not young. Well, she's not old, Lizzie. No, I think she's been getting used to the idea slowly over the past 12 months or more. Gordon as well. Right, Maggie? Something like that. I've thought of the word. So when you say it out loud, it comes as a shock. Cup of tea, Liz, eh? Yes. Yeah. I'd, um... I'd rather you didn't tell Len Fairclough. But why should we, love? I'd rather you didn't tell him, that's all. Says a well-placed shot. A lucky miss hit. Skillfully manoeuvred. Glanced off his boot. Is it the same flaming game? I don't know. The team's the same and the score's the same. Which sports reporter did not go to the match? You mean which <coughs> flipping sports reporter sticks up for which flipping team? Entire exciting new football competition. <coughs> Your haddock's going cold. <clears throat> going? It's gone. It wasn't. It was piping hot when I gave it to you and the butter was running off it and it was flaky. Would you uh, warm up for us, Miss Nugent? No, I would not. You can warm it up yourselves. I'm fed up. It's a pity you men couldn't be drip-fed so you could keep your noses glued in your papers. Hey, that's an idea. And it's not a funny one, Ray Langton. Everybody likes a bit of appreciation now and again. We do. Do you? You have a funny way of showing it. Your room's like a tip. You come in when you feel like it. You don't care whether I've cooked a meal or not. Anyway, I'm leaving. Fend for yourselves. Funny creatures, women. No real understanding. Not cup final standard, it says here. Hey, you're desperate, you two, aren't you? I've only just opened. I know, I can smell the carbolic. Give over. That's best mild. Oh, brother. Well, what's it to be, then? Uh, a pint of chartreuse? Uh, lemonade for me, please. Two lemonades and none of us know about you. Oh, oh, no, it's my job, you see. Customers don't like it if you breathe beer all over them, especially if you've got a razor in your hand. He's quite right, you know, and he's got to keep a clear head for tonight's dominoes. Uh, are you going to have a lemonade and all, Mr Tatlock? Oh, I, I wish I could, Bernard, but it's doctor's orders. Ever since me wound, no lemonade. No, it's something to do with my red corpuscles. No, it'll have to be a rum. Oh. 
Uh, was there something special you wanted to see me about? Yes, but it's um, it's private, like. Oh, go on, you can sit over at that table. Oh, I'll fetch them. Thank you very much. Come on, sit down, lad. Madam Bernard, just get a good look round, you know, get a bit of atmosphere. Oh, that's a good idea, because I won't get much chance tonight. No, that's true. No, I shall have spots before the eyes. <laughs> Do you get it, spots? Hey, now, <laughs> come on, now, don't take it so lightly, lad. Now, have you got all them signals off? Yeah. Uh, finger with thumb means uh, lay off. Uh, yeah, that, with first finger means lay off. With, with second finger, finger means play em. With third finger means double two. Fourth finger means double three. And right hand means double blank. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's it. I've been practising on customers' heads all morning. Yeah, I don't forget, it's the doubles what count. Mm. And hold your head up. Happen I'll be able to see the reflection in your glasses. And if I should touch your foot with mine once, that means play on. Uh, and twice means knock, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. And don't forget, it's not the winning what counts, it's the playing the game. Sorry about that. Ah, Dickie Fleming in for a tin of baked beans. Beans? Miss Nugent slipping, isn't she? Ah, maybe. Do you like it? I always have. It reminds me of coming home to port. Does somebody like Anita? The Anitas were a lot younger then. So were the Lens. She's quite young. Not too young. Attractive. I think so. Yes, that was obvious. Was it? Who cares? Who cares? You can stay on the fence too long. Or on the shelf. <sighs> you won't. Would you like it? That picture, for your house. Give over. No, it's only a cheap reproduction. I'm getting a new one, different view. If I look at that much longer, I'll get seasick. There you are. Hang it up in your bedroom. Pretend you're on dog watch or something. Sailing home to Anita. She might like it. No. All right, then, Maggie, I'll keep it myself. Thank you, Maggie. You're welcome. Ah, there we go again, another tin of baked beans. Roast duck. I don't think I've ever had roast duck. Grill pheasant. Ah. Can you grill pheasants? It's the feathers. You have to keep spitting them out. Roast venison. Yeah, that's what the rich folk mm. have. Yeah. No wonder there was a Bolshevik revolution. Yeah, well, they didn't have the food or the money. We've got the money. Trouble is, we're, um... Lazy. The very word, Dickie. When's she coming back? Audrey. Mm. Couple of weeks. <sighs> it's a great life. Oh, aye. It's a great life. We'll have to get somebody. Ina Sharples. What, you're joking? She'd have a scrub in the floor. Correction. You scrub in the floor. Minnie Caldwell. Oh, we'd have to share the cat's food. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I can smell oh. fish and chips. With uh, salt and vinegar. Hello, Ken. We were just thinking about you. Oh, that's nice. I was just thinking about you. And as I was passing, I thought I'd drop in and see how you were. Uh, hungry? Yeah, well, uh, well, I can't stop anyway. You wouldn't consider parting with some of them fish and chips, would you? You're right, I wouldn't. This one's for me and the other two are for the twins. No, it's just that we've not eaten since yesterday, you know. Well, what's wrong with Miss Nugent? We got and left us before breakfast. Said it was too much for her. Oh, you can cook, can't you? Oh, yeah, but, you know, I have a lot to do with getting Ray dressed and attending to him, mate. Oh, never mind, Dickie. You could always make me a bit of toast tonight, if you get time, like. Here you are. And I might as well join you. No point in trying to split that between three, is it? <coughs> Beans. Ah. Full of iron, they say. Very good for growing children. Mm. A dot's a flipping dot the world over. Yeah, but not in Mesopotamia. Turkish dominoes are squiggles. Ah, oh, so are you. What? Hey, have you ever played Gaelic dominoes? No. Now, there's a great game. Only you play it with bricks. You chuck a brick through your opponent's window and shout, Hey, cop for this, it's a double two. Yeah. Anyway, Gaelic or Turkish or even Chinese darts will transfer you both games what, tonight. Yeah. Right, Tommy? Of course we will. We'll teach you immigrants a thing or two. Immigrants? Right, well, that's what you are, aren't you? From the Rover's Return. Oh. I wish you'd have come in for a drink, you know. I mean, just a little quick one. It'd have cheered her up. Oh, don't worry about Maggie. She just take the best medicine to cheer her up once you swallowed it down. It'll just take a bit of swallowing at first, that's all. Uh, can I ask you something, love? Yeah, ask anything you like, Mrs. Turpin. It's free country. Uh, you and Len Fairclough? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm only asking. Um, is it serious? You're only asking. Oh, friendly. Oh, well, uh, I'm only telling friendly. A me and Len's business is our own. Can I get you another one, Mr. Turpin? Oh, 
Is that all he could think of to give them? Beans. I always take them to the park. Good. Give me a chance to hide some of this lot. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's a good job I met you. I was ready to drop. Mm. Hey, I didn't buy that, did I? It's Maggie's. Oh, that's right. She said it might come in handy for to hang on my bedroom wall to cover up a crack. Mm. It was Les's. He said he used to sit and stare at it for hours, daydreaming he was going on a voyage to faraway places. Yes, hasn't he? By road to Birmingham. What do you think of the news? News? Maggie's. You know, I think uh, it's carrying these parcels. My brain's gone numb as well as my fingers. What news? Last night, she saw you in the horse, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Well, about her and Les getting a divorce. <laughs> So now, Miss Nugent's deserted us, who can we turn to? Yeah, you know, it's a shame they don't do Meals on Wheels for young people. True, Dickie. Yeah, I don't suppose you're Valerie. She's a note at sorts. Too many people put on our Valerie. Yeah, like you. Look, I'm family, and I don't put on as she insists. Besides, she's got that job of hers. All right, Dickie, come on. Wheel is out into the snow again. Unless, uh... Oh, perhaps I could look in. Thank you very much, Mrs. Turpin. I'd be most grateful. Well, uh, you might be, but uh, I wouldn't be. Let's put it that way. Oh, well, my missus has got a full-time job looking after me with my irregular hours. I like to see her at home when I get in. Mush! Uh -huh. I'll tell you what I can do. Uh, there's usually an empty cell at the station. <laughs> I could arrange accommodation, okay, regular okay, meals. Yeah. Oh, it wouldn't do no harm. I mean, just to call in now and again. Let's put it this way. As long as I don't see, I wouldn't ask any questions. Well, thanks again, Mrs. Turpin. It's nice to know the milk of human kindness still flows. But not in this pub. It's chucking out time. Glasses, please. Uh, uh, what, uh, what is it? It's a picture to replace the one that you gave me. Oh, thank you. It's a Rembrandt or a Picasso or something. <laughs> or a Schubert or a Mendelssohn. Oh, yeah, it's one of those for you. The four lads used to do subcontracting work for me. Very good on outside woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, uh... I'll hang it up later. Yeah, right. Right. Uh, Maggie, you coming to the fine horse tonight? Darts match? Uh, no, no, thank you. No. Uh, Maggie? Yes? You didn't say what you were going to tell me last night. Oh, didn't I? No. Oh, well, perhaps it was because there was uh, nothing to tell you. Nothing? Nothing. Like I said before, I gave you the idea that there was. It uh, tells you on there which way to hang it up. Yeah, Rex Harrison it was. He used to go about in drag for fun. And he was a barber. The hairdresser? Well, hairdresser. Well, there you are then, Bernard. I've got five quid that says you won't dare dress up as a nurse and wheel me through the streets. Five smackers? I don't like. Oh, get away. You didn't mind dressing up as Cynthia at Christmas and you were flaming good. It'll be fraught. Would it, Eck? It'll be fun. Well, where will we get the uniform from, from oh, for a start? Don't I mean... worry about that. That's no problem. Are we on? Either that or that. Well, that. <laughs> but it'll be fraught. There we are. Oh, I'm surprised at you, Pear, the way you've treated her. I mean, from what she says, you know. What's that? Molten lava? Mm. I bet there's an entire village buried oh, underneath God. it. No, that's, that's not, I think. I don't think I want all this. Oh, go on. Get it across your chest. You'll come to no harm, love. It's Mr. Turpin's favourite, is that? <laughs> well, I'll just go and get myself ready for the match. <laughs> no mm. wonder Bobbies have got flat feet if they carry weight like this around with them, eh? Oh, Miss Nugent. Oh, I'm sorry, Ray. I'm in a hurry. Miss Nugent, please. A minute. Miss Nugent, we have used the butter knife for the marmalade. We've left the sauce tops loose on the bottles. We've eaten pickles straight out of the jar. We've used the sugar spoon for our tea. What else have we done, Dickie? Transistor radio too loud in the bedroom, kicking off our shoes anywhere. We promise not to do any of these things again, ever, if you will stay. Well, there is something about leopards. Well, we'll try. Can I be fairer? I'll give the matter a little thought. When will you let us know? Just as soon as you've eaten every bit of Mrs Turpin's stew. 
can I be fair? <laughs> How about you, Bernard? Oh, oh, no, thanks. I'm sorry. I've got to go. Hey, are we still on? Yeah, still on, but, but it'll be fraught, you know. <sighs> Aye, so this. Double top and bow. Yeah, well, you were a bit lucky with that. That's right, Tatters, just look. Yeah. Having a throw, Nita? Oh, no. no, are. Hey, my specs, they've gone. Do you want on that table? You don't need specs, love you so me. Uh, well, that was far off. I do for near two. Well, chuck them from the other end of the room. She might eat you then, and that'll be another bit of luck. Oh, honest, sweetheart, I can't throw without them. Who was nearest? He was. Mm. And I'm over. Uh, what? Respect. What respect? Respect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whose side do you want? That, that's treason, that is. Come on, Mr. Tadlock. Oh, well, I. I know, well, 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 what is that? Well, have you got them signals well, off back? Well, 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 now, what the Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, I'm sorry. I, I just got momentarily confused with a, a, another little wager I'm involved in. Yes, well, don't. Uh, well, now that we're all here, into battle, is it? Oh, I thought you just went out for half a dozen handkerchiefs. Exactly. I went out for shirts for you and best for the kids. Yeah, well, uh, you look, why didn't you buy shares in the company then? I bet they were going cheap. Although, come to think of it, we've been chucking our money about. They're probably rocketed. Our money? I like that. All the money I spent was my money out of my wages. That's packet. not the point. Yes, the point is you went out to spend two pounds and you spent hundreds. Twelve. Twelve, then. And I must have saved at least another ten. Oh, <laughs> oh that takes a biscuit, that does. You go out to spend two, you spend twelve, and thereby save ten. Well, they're all things we need or will need. Love. And after the sale, they're going to be twice the price Love, again. If that's woman's logic, you can keep it. I hope you like the pattern. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's quite something, isn't it? That's two pounds, that, marked down from five. That's very reasonable. That's not yeah. right. His yeah. feet are more than a foot over the line. Oh, that is where my feet would be if I was standing on them. Oh, he's right. This would... Oh, come <laughs> off it. His nose would be on the flipping board. I'll oh, leave him at my own length. It's his throwing hand that counts. He should be directly over where his feet should be. Ah, that's that's right. Right. What do you think I am? A flaming gun carriage? <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's more like a blasted debate in society oh, than a dance right. team. Right, on, my then. wheels will touch the throwing line. Any objections? No. Yes, well, uh, what do you think about that? Well, I've been watching it for ten minutes now. Is it supposed to change its spots? You nearly gave the game away then, didn't you, Miss Nugent? Why, what did I say? Well, for all they know, they might have thought it was one spot on its own. Now they know there's more than one. Ah, oh, come on, Tatters, get playing. Me and Joel's too busy concentrating to listen to your idle chatter. Anyway, Joel, like I was saying, this old woman came up to me and she said, Hey, Tommy, how much will you give me for this old bedstead? One and six, says I, and not a penny more. Mm. A bit slippery, these dominoes. That's the only things that are slippery, are they? Maggie? Oh, hello, Val. Oh, are you going out? Ah, uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, look in at the Rovers. Everybody seems to be deserting them these days. I wondered if you'd like these. I got them in the sale. Five for each. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, I wanted some new overalls. I'll uh, get you the money for them. Well, I couldn't resist them. They were no. such a bargain. Oh, it's funny. It's my day today. New overalls. Earlier on, Lem Fairclough gave me a picture. I've uh, not opened it yet. Oh, yes, he said you'd given him the old one. Have you seen him? Yes, he carried me parcels. Oh, you should have been in that shop. Shoving and pushing and scrambling. My feet were... He's well, infatuated, you know, with that girl. Is he? I don't know. He certainly hadn't much to say about your divorce. Well, that's because he didn't know. Well, not from me, at least. Oh, Maggie, it was the picture I naturally thought. That naturally is. thought? Everybody naturally thinks round here about everybody else's business, not their own. Oh, to think he was in here and knew. Oh, look, it was a genuine misunderstanding. I, di I didn't do it to mean any harm. Oh, no, I suppose you did it in my best interest. That's Cyril and Betty, plot and plan, in my best interest. That you rushed out on me at Christmas, in my best interest. Oh, you can pay me for them when you see I just don't like my private affairs being discussed in public. It's not as though I give a tinker's curse for length. Uh, 
Thank you, darling. That was steady, me. Hey, what do we want? Oh, well, it's near, isn't it? Now, it's near. Seven double nine, isn't it? Right. Double seven, any good to you? Oh, I should just close your eyes and throw partners. <laughs> oh, dear. 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 It's a lovely little lady's day. Oh, dear. 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 Oh, you know, I'm surprised they don't have international cups for dominoes, same as they do for chess. Ah, well then, Bernie, you see, you'd have too many professionals coming into the game. People like, uh, like Albert Tatlock here. Oh, I don't know. I'm not all that professional. Oh, modesty now. Mind you, I'm not altogether against professionals. I mean, there's arguments for and against. Like, I'm always telling Joe here, sure, it's six of one and half a dozen of the other. Oh, don't worry, Bernie. It's not a signal this time. Your partner's a little worried. That's all. This should cheer you up. That was bought out of money that I saved at the sales. Uh, exactly, exactly. News from the Rovers. Interested? Well, I shouldn't be. Maggie Clay. Maggie's as good as the best of us and as bad as the rest of us or something Scottish like that. In other words, she's as interested in other people's business as we are. Yes, I suppose she is. Right. Stanley is trying to get tick off Jack. Irma is still sni- no, sorry. Hilda is still sniffing about Irma. Minnie Cora is singing some song about the good ship Yaki Hicky Doola. <laughs> and the Bush Telegraph says that the big white chief, your boss, is at this very minute hacking his way through the shark-infested jungle for Fort Weatherfield for tomorrow. Alan Howard? To boot? Was Elsie Sharp near Iraq? Oh, no, 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 no. She was just blowing down the revolver chamber as she put the bullets in. <laughs> oh, well, here's luck to him, because he's going to need it. I mean, stood her up on New Year's Eve. <coughs> <coughs> Are you leaving us, Miss Nugent? Uh, for a few minutes. Why, yes. can't you stand the suspense? Uh, probably not, if I understood the game. Yes, now, now, steady on, Bernard. Don't get flummoxed. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Tatlock. I'm not doing. Come on. What's happening? Uh, well, the other team got ball in two hours. So if we get it in one... We? Well, if Ray gets it in one, we've won. Come on, oh, big quiet. Come on, Who's that? Oh, 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 Ray!